Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I had the best weekend. We went to cheer live in St. Louis. It was amazing. It was such a fun time. Um, if you've seen the show Cheer on Netflix, they basically went on tour and we stayed overnight. We went to the aquarium. It was so much fun. I'm still riding high after that experience. So today what I'm gonna do is post what's probably gonna be kind of a quick video, a review on a couple of things. It's the Buxom Hot Toddy collection. And um, I ordered this off of Ulta's website. and there's a big reason why I wanted to go ahead and post the video because look, when you get on the website and you look at this palette, they show you that much. You can't even see the whole thing. We gotta stop doing this whole partially open palette thing. We gotta, at least if we're gonna do that, you gotta have a photo of it wide open too, okay? We wanna see what's in there. But because I really like multitasking palettes, generally um, I got it so I could test it out for you. I've been playing with it. And also they have um, some new shades of the Buxom Full-On Plumping, this is a lip cream, Full-On Plumping Lip Cream. But if you go to the website, it's under Hot Shots Full-On Plumping Lip Polish. And this is Spiced Hot hot toddy. This is a lip cream, not a lip polish. They have one called peppermint hot cocoa. They have a marshmallow one that looks clear. They have a caramel one that looks kind of nude and shimmery, but this is the spiced hot toddy shade. Now, does it strike anyone as odd that this hot toddy situation is coming out in the middle of summer? To me, like, I even have a couple of candles. The scent is hot toddy and they're like, Christmas, you know? To me, it just seems more like a fall or holiday vibe. I'll take it anytime, but it just seemed like, was this intentional, you know, for it to come out at this time of year? Like, it's not even July yet. We're thinking margarita collections and pina coladas, slushies and ice cream sandwiches and that kind of thing, right? But your girl loves a color scheme that looks like this, so I'm going for it any time of year and I will review it for you. So what I have on my face already is everything except the blush and my whole eye look and my lips. So today I'm wearing the Kosas Revealer family of products. I use the foundation and the concealer and the powder. I've also got on my Persona bronzer stick or contour stick and a little bit of my Kosas bronzer as well. So now we can start applying and chatting about this. So this little compact, it does seem very handy, you know, in size. It has a blush included in the four eyeshadows. You have a mirror as well. It says coming in hot on top. And this blush, while it doesn't appear to be very intense, I will say it shows up beautifully on my cheeks. It's very smooth and nicely pigmented. Um, you have a similar texture to the blush in the top two eyeshadows. And then these two kind of strike me almost more like a semi-cream formula with those metallics. They remind me more of like a ColourPop shadow. And the shades, once they sheer out, like this one looks blatantly copper, this one looks more golden. But by the time they kind of sheer out on the skin, they look like such similar colors. So. I have kind of a bone to pick on that, and I wish they would have said, like, that it was a different formula. There wasn't really any indication of that on the website. But anyways, we're going to dip into this blush. It's nice and soft, and it ends up coming off like a pretty sort of dusty rose. It's a soft color, but yet look how I can build it. I can definitely see it. And that is just a matte blush, no shimmer going on. And I like it. It's probably my favorite part of the palette. A highlight that I thought was really pretty with this look that I pulled in the other day is the one from the um, Physician's Formula Butter Palette that I had reviewed. Um, I took this butter highlight and I just swipe it on kind of like with my finger. And then I take my Real Techniques setting brush and blend that in. I'm gonna tap just a little bit up here also, just a little bit. And then this is my setting brush. And I just feel like this is the way it applies best. It doesn't really, since it's kind of a creamy texture, it doesn't pick up on this brush amazingly well, but it blends well with it. So there we are for the face with that blush kind of topping things off and the highlight, of course. I've been kind of getting back into my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, especially for summer. It just really locks things in so well. And it helped my staying power, I think, for my, as I inhale the product, it helped my staying power during that whole cheer live day because I did my makeup here like early in the morning like I always do and then it was pretty much lasting me all day. I just kind of like amped up the eyes a little bit, changed my lip color, but my face makeup stayed really well. Okay, so now we're going to do the eye look. I already had my eye primer on and these mattes up top, like I said, they feel really similar to the blush and the blush could be pulled in as an eyeshadow as well, but this is our deepest shade right here and I'm just gonna start blending that into the crease. You can see 
see what it's all about. Um, it's kind of this dusty, murky, mauvey brown, I'd call it. It's not as cool and purpley as a mauve, though. I probably shouldn't have said that. It's more like a soft cinnamon color. It's got a little more warmth than meets the eye just glancing at it in the pan. And I'm just get, hitting the crease with that and just the nature of the shade. It looks really pretty sheared out kind of up above. So if you have some space between your eye and your brown, you can kind of like let it shear out there. I don't know, maybe hot toddies are a real summery thing. I actually haven't ever had one, so I guess I need to get on that, but I just always associated them with like fall and Christmas. This shade is somewhat buildable, but as you can see, it's not gonna get incredibly dark. Overall, I think it's a great shade. And now we're gonna go into this light shade right beside it, which has, I don't know, maybe just a hint of pinky tone in it, but overall just like a soft cream. And that looks pretty coming in on the border and it also sort of smooths your blending a bit. Now could you create a look without the metallic shades? Absolutely. You know, you could keep going with you know, this deeper shade on the lid and then come inward with the cream and then maybe punch in a little blush shade in there somewhere and it could be a pretty look, but I'm going to show you all the shades because that's probably what you want to see. Um, does this palette have any scent? Just the slightest like sweet scent, but you've got to really be <laughs> smelling for it. You're not just going to pop it open and have immediate scent. So I'm just patting on some more of that shade that I put in the crease. I'm patting it on the outer part of my lid. Just like so. I was thinking of doing like a halo eye type thing, but in order to work in both of these shimmers, I'm going to need to like put one in the middle of the lid and one going inward. That in itself is pretty. Like that's kind of everyday eyeshadow look for me. But we're going to take this more coppery looking one. And like I said, there's a creamy texture to these and they don't always lay down like 100% perfectly with the brush, you're going to be tempted to kind of go in with your finger perhaps. The texture just isn't like a normal shimmer shadow. They're very creamy. More like a ColourPop shadow. So I'm going to grab a little bit on my finger and kind of tap and press on the lid. And that's how I feel like I get the most um, transfer onto the lid and the most color intensity. Okay, so there's that coppery color. And then the other shade really ends up looking so much like that. So I'm going to pick up some of this one that appears more gold. But look, as I continue in, there's only a slight, slight difference in those shades as you apply them. Look, like I've, I've put this on now on the inner corner, kind of. Um, staying power with these is okay, but not like mind blowing. I had some fading, but it didn't end up looking awful, you know? So there's those shades. Like, I'm not saying it's not pretty, but if we're only getting a quad, those two shades, I couldn't believe how similar they end up looking in application. Last thing I'm gonna do is I picked up that darkest shade with my Profusion small pointed brush and it is buildable. So if you want to get a little more drama there Bump up the color intensity just a little bit you can I just want to show you how far it can go and you can decide if it's something you like Okay, there's that I've been doing like Smoky shadow sticks on my lower lash line a lot lately But for the purpose of kind of sticking to this palette and showing you what this can do I will do a little bit of that shadow down on the lower lash line as well and instantly I feel like my eyes look a little greener <laughs> When I come down with anything mauvey or like reddish Alrighty friends, so there is the shadow look. Is it a look I like? Yes, but does it pretty much kind of end up turning out the same-ish look every time? Like I said, you could stick to the mattes only, but as far as the quad goes, I think they should have kind of differentiated those a little bit more. I do like the blush. The blush is probably my favorite part, and I like combo palettes. I like when a whole look is kind of being laid out there, but is it an absolute must-have? I don't really think so. Um, but I'm gonna finish off the eye and I will be right back. So I didn't do any eyeliner today. I just chose to do some mascara. This is my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Strength and Stretch, Stretch and Strength, Stretch and Strength and Mascara. And I am really liking this. I love the way it builds on itself. And I have a little bit of Cali Ray come hell or high water on the lower lashes. And then I wanna talk about the lip color, which I do really love. Um, this is from the Hot Shots full-on plumping lip polish line. So with this 
this whole hot toddy collection. They put out four new shades, like I was saying at the start of the video. This is the deepest one. This color is called Spiced Hot Toddy, and it's warm brown with a touch of pink. So I'm gonna pop it on on its own, and then I'll show you another way that I like to wear it too. But it's one of the plumping lip creams, so those tend to have, I feel, just a little more pigment usually and no shimmer. They're just creamy. In a sort of misleading way, it's listed under full-on plumping lip polish on the website. But I love the way Buxom glosses feel. There's kind of a cooling sensation, but this one kind of confuses you. It makes you wondering, am I really feeling cooling or am I feeling like cinnamon? Because it has a little bit more of a warm scent to it. It's not like really strong cinnamon, but definitely there's like a toasty warm vibe to the scent but then I'm still having that cooling feel on the lips. Oh my gosh, this is the actual description on the lip product. Heat things up with Buxom's limited edition pout plumping hot shots, full on plumping lip polish featuring a fall slash seasonal color and scent. So this is just fall coming out early in the end of June. Is anyone ready for that? But yeah, it says features a delectable cinnamon hot toddy scent. So I was smelling that correctly, but it still feels on the lips like a normal um, Buxom lip gloss, which I think has kind of a cooling feel. I'm going back to read the description of the palette. They didn't mention anything about fall there. No. But as you can see, it's kind of a your lips but better type of gloss. It evens out the surface a little bit. It adds a little bit of warmth. I think it coordinates beautifully with the eye, like with a burgundy shirt. But here's another way that I have enjoyed wearing this. I blotted some of the gloss off. This is Maybelline Live on the Edge. This coordinates so beautifully with this whole look and collection. And really, it's just one of my favorite Superstay Matte Ink Crayons, period. I find myself pulling for this a lot anytime I want to deepen up my look somewhat. But I'm just going to fill in the lips with this. Love that color. It's like dark dusty rose. Okay, I'm doing it kind of softly and the only reason why you're seeing a little bit of shine is because the lips still had some moisture on them from the gloss, but then I'm going to pop the gloss on top. And again, you get that nice feel from the Buxom Gloss. I think they feel nicely actually moisturizing. There's just enough tack to them to kind of like hang on well staying power wise. I love it like that. And I think it complements the eye really nicely. But fall coming out early, like that's really early, don't you think? And it's just about the theme that I say that because you could wear these shades. They're totally appropriate anytime. This looks like a summery kind of bronzy eye, you know, no problem. But it's just the whole theme having it say hot toddy and it's like, isn't that kind of a fall winter thing? But yeah, this is the whole look, you guys. As far as the palette, I like it. I don't absolutely love it. I was a little thrown by having a couple of those textures of eyeshadow be more like creamy shadows. That's okay, it's not a huge deal, but I feel like you lose a little versatility if you wanted to like dust one on with a crease brush, sort of maybe above your crease or something, do a little blending with it. It's harder to do with a texture like that. But more than anything, it's the fact that those two colors end up looking so much the same on the lid. Like I've got both of them on my lid, the more goldeny one on the inner part and the coppery one on the center of my lid. And I feel like they look exactly alike. I do like the top two shades. I do like the blush, but I say this a lot in videos, but knowing what I know now, you know, having tested it, it's not a need to me, this thing, but I do really like this lip gloss. Like I said, I enjoy the formula of Buxom lip glosses. If you like that formula and you like kind of that soft, casual, your lips, but maybe a little bit deeper, I think you might enjoy this. The scent is beautiful. And I also like layering it up on top of that Maybelline matting crayon. So as always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments comments section if you've tried these. Uh, what was your impression on the whole theme and was it released way too soon? Again, shades are something I like. Like I look at my finished look and I'm thinking that looks pretty nice, Em. But I also feel like these are shades that I have in a lot of other places in my collection. It didn't have to come from this. And again, when you're looking at a quad of shadows, I start to have a little higher expectation for good balance and no overlap within those four shades. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So anyway, thanks for your time, guys. I will talk to you again soon. I love you. Bye.